This is the Canon C700 full frame with 20 millimeter T 1.5 prime. Cinema 5D at NAB 2018 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, your one-stop shop for cine, video, photo, and more. Manfrotto, imagine more. Sigma, the art in every lens. Hey guys, Graham Aylor Sheldon here from Cinema 5D. We're at NAB 2018. Uh, we're in the Canon booth. On my right is Peter Marr from Canon Burbank. And in front of us here, we have two new things. We have a 20 millimeter prime and we have the C700 full frame camera. So Peter, can you tell me a little bit about what we're looking at? Yeah, right here, uh, we can start with the lens. This is the new 20 millimeter prime lens. This is a T1.5. And this just slides right into that spot that we've had between the 14 millimeter and the 24 millimeter. So now we've, we've closed that gap in that lens line. So now we have seven primes. Um, all of the primes have the same diameter on the front. So if you are on a map box and you're changing out primes, you don't have to change your donuts out. The gears are in the same spot. So it's very easy to swap these primes in and out. It covers the full frame sensor as well. So the 20 millimeter uh, full frame coverage, uniform front diameter, yep. right? Standardized gears with the rest of the set, same spot? Yeah, very, very similar to the same spot. Uh, I believe there's one lens that will probably push them over just a little bit. So literally, you loosen them up, drop them back, put your lens back on there, your other lens on there, slide them back in, the teeth line up just like that. Okay, so, and then we go from 14 millimeter in the set of seven to 135? No, where do we end up? 14 to 135 on the primes. Very cool. And price point on the new uh, 20 millimeter uh, T1.5? I don't have the actual price point yet, but it's probably going to be around the same price that all of the other primes are, right around that $5,000 mark, somewhere in there. Very cool. Okay, so, I mean, the lens is cool, but talk to me about the, uh, the beast of the camera that it's mounted on here. So <laughs> C700 full frame, um, uh, tell me about some of the features. All right, so the C700 full frame looks exactly like the C700 Super 35. Um, this is, there's no physical difference in the actual camera body itself. It's actually the sensor that's being changed in it. So we now have three sensor options in this camera. We have the Super 35 CMOS, we have the Super 35 Global Shutter, and then we also have the full frame CMOS sensor. In there. So this new sensor is actually a 5.9K sensor and it's a 17 by 9 aspect ratio on the sensor. So it's not your traditional 2436, it will be 17 by 9 edge to edge on that full frame image circle. Aimed at uh, anamorphic shooters? Yes, so we have a little more uh, vertical headroom so you have, uh, it's, you got more pixels for your anamorphic shoots. This does have anamorphic support in there as well and you still get the dual pixel autofocus in there too. So, I mean, you have three different versions of the C700. I think I would go for the full frame, personally. Um, but, yeah, well, where would you end up? <laughs> uh, the full frame would be a great choice. It actually opens up your shooting options. Uh, you've, got, you've got more shooting options with the full frame because you have that 5.9K full frame cutout, that 17.9 aspect ratio. You can actually oversample that into a 4K image, so you take advantage of all the oversampling um, attributes, like you get cleaner, higher ISOs, cleaner image, less chance of more, that bokeh is going to be that full frame bokeh. And you also have a 2K crop mode in here too, so it's called a Super 16. And you, even if you have a lens with an adapter that covers the smaller image circles for the smaller sensors, you can actually shoot that now, raw output in 2K to the codex recorder that actually bolts onto the back of the camera. It's a raw recorder that bolts onto the camera. No wires, no anything. There's a pin rail, it sits right in, takes the codex drives, and you can shoot 5.9K raw, 4K raw, or now 2K raw directly to that codex recorder. So the codex, um essentially unlocks RAW, right? Yeah, yeah, the codex unlocks the RAW. You can't shoot RAW internally on the CFAST cards or the SD card, of course, uh, but the codex recorder does have the one and two terabyte drives that you can put all of your RAW footage on, and the camera knows the codex recorder is there, shows up in the menu, gives you all the extra options, and you go directly to the one and two terabyte drives in the codex. Okay, let's, uh, let's talk price point. So with the base package, you're getting the body, and then beyond that, I mean, you start adding uh, the, the IPs, the codecs. Uh, talk to me about pricing and all of that. Yeah, so the original pricing for the, the full production package, which would include the EVF, uh, the grips, the shoulder mount, um, the rail kit, I believe that was about 33000 on the original C700 Super 35. This camera body itself should be about 33,000. And as far as the production package, we haven't gotten a word yet on what the whole kit together would be, but I would you know, probably 
throw it out there that it's going to be somewhere in that neighborhood of what the difference would be in the two. However, the Codex Recorder is a few thousand dollars more. The drives are their own price on there, but they will expand your camera into an incredible raw recording beast with a full frame sensor inside. Yeah, I like that. I mean, you have something to, to build towards as you build your own package, so to speak. Yeah, and as far as building your package, you can get this camera in five different configurations now. So you can get it in an EF or a PL mount, and now with the EF or the PL mount, you can also get it with three different sensors. So you have two different mounts, three different sensors you can build this camera with, and they're versatile too. So even if you have a C700 with a Super 35 sensor in there, you can take it in and we can take that sensor out and give you the full frame sensor. If you have your camera with an EF mount, we can swap that to a PL mount, and then we can swap it back for you if you need it as well. So the camera is incredibly versatile. It's super lightweight. It's only about seven and a half pounds for the body itself. So this is a camera that's a tank. It's built well, it's great, it's versatile. You can basically shoot anything with this camera. And I do like the modular aspect of it. So if you come out with, uh, you know, a, a six full 6K, 6.5K, wherever you end up, you can just maybe swap out that sensor in the future. That's uh, something that I think they're looking forward to. That's exactly what happened with the Super 35 versus the full frame. Cool. Well, it's been great to see the journey of the C700 line to where it's at right now. Full frame, very exciting. All right, that's it from us at the Canon booth at NAB 2018. Peter, thank you so much for showing us around the 20 millimeter T1.5 and the full frame C700. Stay tuned for more coverage from NAB 2018 on cinema5d.com.